<laughs> hey everybody, this is uh, Andrew with ORS Racks Direct. And uh, we've had a good day here at our uh, distribution warehouse out here in Berlin, Vermont. And uh, it's a beautiful sunny day, a few clouds, but the rain held off. So we've been uh, videotaping uh, all day long uh, all the different uh, kayak and canoe carriers that we have. And I've been behind the camera all day, but I get to save the best for last. Uh, so I get to do the best one. And we've done all kinds of of uh, stackers, J stackers, J cradles, all kinds of stuff today. But this is the creme de la creme. This is the 887 XT or the Slipstream XT by Thule. Uh, that's the size of the box it comes in and it's got a lot of great features. Uh, it's a cradle style system so it's going to carry the boat upright uh, and uh, it'll carry uh, just about any kayak, a short uh, river boat or you know, a rapid for the rapids or a longer boat. Uh, long ones for, for the ocean kayaking, it'll handle just about anything you want to put up there. Um, the 887 XT comes with some universal mounting hardware. It'll fit on Yakima round bars, it'll fit on Thule and Inno square bars, and it'll fit on just about any factory installed crossbar. Here we have uh, the Toyota uh, Highlander and it's got um, kind of oval shaped bars and as you can see the uh, universal mounting hardware fits easily on there. Uh, just some simple simple knobs to tighten it down uh, and you're up there. Really, really simple. Um, cradle system up here. Uh, they, they pivot out of the way when you get the boat up there. Uh, so all you've got to do is get the boat up there and it'll just kind of naturally conform to the shape of the kayak. Uh, this side has a felt uh, lining to it so the boat will slide really easy on it and the front pair has uh, is rubber so it grips the boat really well so it won't go sliding around. Um, the trick anytime you're carrying a kayak around is getting the boat on top and uh, a lot of vehicles uh, a little taller this is a this is kind of a, a shorter SUV the Highlander and uh, we don't have a big boat today but if you did you know one of the tricks is how you gonna get it up there you got to get it started and you don't want to lean the boat uh, on the back here, on the back of this fairing, and I don't want to scratch my wife's car all up. Uh, so what am I going to do? Well, this is the cool thing about the slipstream. Um, you get up there, I'm, I'm going to step on the handy Thule 232 step up. Uh, simple little device you throw over the tire so you can get up, get up tall uh, to what you're looking at. And uh, just a couple of, almost like a quick release on a bicycle. I'm going to undo those two right there, and then watch this. This is pretty slick. I just grab the back of the rack, and I pull it back and uh, now as you can see uh, the back of the rack is beyond the edge of the vehicle uh, and then there's a really really nifty roller here um, the reason it's nice is you take your kayak and you get it up that far again this is not a really big boat but even if you have a bigger one uh, it'd be really easy to get it up there it's gonna lift it up it rolls right up in there and that's what you need, just a little bit of help until you get it up uh, to those felt pads where it slides. And then I'm going to push the boat back in. I'm going to lock it down. And you're up there. Couldn't be slicker. Couldn't be slicker. Very, very nice. As you can see, the, uh, the pads just conform naturally to the bottom of the boat. And it's up there nice and easy. All right, so once you've got your boat up on top of the 887, uh, we've got to tie it down so it doesn't go flying off the car. And uh, I'm going to walk around this way. Comes with, uh, comes with a pair of handy, truly heavy-duty straps. And I'm just going to go over the top of the boat. And uh, show you how I like to do them. I've got the uh, strap coming over the top. Quick. You feed your strap up through the buckle, pull down, grab this side so it doesn't so the strap doesn't slide on you. Pull down a couple times. And uh, you can either you don't have to get real fancy tying off the excess. You can just uh, loop it around a few times. People will just kind of tie it off. Doesn't take much. Whatever, anything that works, just as long as the strap isn't flapping around too much. Obviously, you can do the same thing on the front of the boat, and you're good. That will probably work fine for a smaller boat like this, but sometimes when you get a longer boat, maybe you got a 16, 17, 18 foot ocean kayak, and it's going to be a good idea to tie, to tie down the bow and the stern. So, 
We've got the uh, 855 bow stern tie down from Thule, a ratcheting strap. Works really, really simple. You take this black black end here, this loop. Does that come with the that 887 XT? with the 887 XT. Also sold separately, but it happens to come with this one. So I'm just going to loop that up there. Any, 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 any old way to tie it. Sometimes you have a rope on the back of your kayak or something, but anything you got there. Take this hook. Usually you're going to find uh, some kind of tow hitch or something underneath there. Anything you can hook it to underneath your car. Hook it on there. Everybody loves the sound of a ratchet. Everybody loves that. The front isn't tied down, so it's going to move a little bit until I get that part. But nice and tight. Really simple. Again, just tie off the excess any way you, any way you can so it's not flying around. And you're good to go. Front and back, you'll be all right. Lastly, uh, you got it up there. Um, they got to lock it. And uh, if you leave your leave your boat in the parking lot somewhere, uh, if anybody's got a just a handy knife, they can slash the straps real quick and they take off with your boat. So we have a couple of neat products to prevent that. One is a steel core uh, strap lock system. Um, this is really nice. It's uh, it would, you would use it in place of the straps you have up here. Uh, there's a strap in here with a steel core, hence the name steel core. Uh, so nobody's going to be able to cut these with a knife. Um, this is a cam system. Um, we have a video on our site. You can find it in the product pages. If you search for steel core, you'll find it and it'll show you how to use it. Great product for locking your, locking your boat or anything else on top of your car. Uh, also, uh, we have the lash lock uh, lockable tie down system. Uh, this is a simple steel cable. Um, it also is a cam mechanism, uh, so once you get it up there and you lock it down, it, it serves, makes it very, very, very tight. Uh, neat thing here, this is a combination lock instead of a key. Uh, a couple different alternatives for, for locking your boat on top of your car. So, that's the uh, uh, Thule 887 XT, or no, otherwise known as the Slipstream XT. And uh, it's a great way to carry your boat, great way to get it up there on top, and uh, check it out. Uh, my name is Andrew, and you've been watching uh, another nice video from ORS Racks Direct. <laughs> Have a great day.